you reprobate, you malcontent, to write down your topics and your suggestions of things that you hate and you've written them down in your droves and we have a whole bucket here of your suggestions. We don't know what's in this bucket, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we could be hating on the Amazon burning down. <laughs> Alternatively, we could go highbrow and hate on the guy that threw a milkshake at Nigel Farage. <laughs> So we, we can hate on anything. 2019, you need a trigger warning. I'm giving you a trigger warning. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a trigger warning. If you are easily offended, this is not the show for you. We are equal opportunity offenders here at Hate and Live. We do not pick and choose what offends us. So if you stay, you stay under the proviso that nothing is off topic and everything goes. The skill in this show is saying the unsayable, making it funny, and still being able to work tomorrow. Are you up for Hate and Live tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Let's bring out our first intrepid gladiator. He stands at 6'5", formerly 6'6", but he suffers from mild yet debilitating kyphosis. Welcome to the stage, Mr. Leo Cole! I really like hitting live. What's up? My name's Michelle. And keep our applause going. A very intrepid gladiator. I mean, I want that dick. Sing! I've done a lot of ISIS videos. And keep our applause going for Radu, the Romanian immigrant. Oh, it looks like when I'm tired. Imagine when I'm well rested. Those are our four intrepid gladiators. Move swiftly on. This is the quick fire round. In this round, each of the comedians is going to get turned on their own. So, welcome back to the stage, Mr. Leo Cole! Tell us, Leo, why you hate that ISIS haven't been in the news recently. <laughs> ISIS are shite, man. They don't deserve to be in the news. Remember Al Qaeda, the gentleman terrorists? Oh my god. <laughs> Vision. They deserve to be in the news. They did fucking spectacular stuff. It was like David Copperfield or something. They could have like four jumbo jets at the same time. Fucking flew two of them into skyscrapers. One of them in the fucking Pentagon. Like another one in a field in Pennsylvania because they hated cows for some reason. Dude, now ISIS, man, these new guys, I've got no respect for them. Like half of their terror attacks are like somebody driving a Hyundai at 30, 30 kilometers an hour onto a pavement in Westminster and knocking over a cycle courier so he grazes his knee. <laughs> that was not trying to parallel park. <laughs> Tell us, Leo, why, why you hate hay fever? I hate hay fever because it's disgusting. Do you know what pollen is? It's plant jizz. There's <laughs> like, some little flowers come out, little dicks come out the middle of the flowers, and they jizz is like dry dust up in the air, like fucking heifer jizz. It all like mingles together. All this different jizz mingles together. It's like Dumfries swimming pool. <laughs> It goes in your eyes, it goes in my eyes, it goes in little kids' eyes, we're all getting bukkakied by plants. <laughs> what can we can do about it, it's fucking filthy. If I go down to the park and wank in some daffodils to make them sneeze, all of a sudden I'm the bad guy. <laughs> tell us, tell us Leo, why you hate environmentalists. Yeah, I hate environmentalists because I've got talking to this environmentalist guy at a party, like this vegan guy, when he finished telling me about veganism, he still had some energy left over. <laughs> <laughs> he told me off because I was using a plastic drinking straw. He's like, that's bad. That is single use plastic. I was like, what do you mean? He says, that's single use plastic. After you've used that to drink your gin and tonic, it's going to go into the sea and kill a turtle. 
I said, well then it's not single-use plastic. <laughs> Tell us, Michelle, why you hate staying with my partner through cancer. Oh my God. <laughs> if you've ever been, you know what it's what? Because like we was already thinking about dumping y'all for a long time, <laughs> for a long time. You're not just listen. You're not straight away being like. Especially for me, I'm having a good six month run up to that. Do you know what I mean? I'm watching you breathe air, I'm like, you're right fucking me off now. <laughs> I'm hanging out with your mum, I'm thinking she's never gonna be the, the fucking grandmother of my children. Look at her fucking weird ears. You know what I'm saying? And then you come in and bring me the big C. You got cancer. Of course, I would dump you right there and then, but people are watching. <laughs> people are watching, and when you die, I'm gonna look like a bad person. I'm not having that, I'm not having that. I'm gonna ride this wave for hopefully only three more months. <laughs> Tell us, Michelle, why you hate shit drugs. Shit drugs. <sighs> You know why I hate shit drugs? It's because you're going to do them anyway, aren't you? Do you know what I mean? You get a bit of shit drugs, especially like a bit of shit coke. You get some shit coke and you're like, this is terrible. Let's continue to do this shit coke while we talk about how terrible it is and how we're never going to get this, we're never going to use this dealer again and then it runs out and we're like, should we call him again? <laughs> Tell us, Michelle, why you, why you hate diversity. <laughs> No. <laughs> Who put that in? <laughs> you laugh it up, you're not gonna say now. Why you hate diversity? Ah, oh, it's such a fucking problem at the fringe. All these people of colour have been nominated for an award, pissing on all of these white men's chips. <laughs> fucking good! 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 Everyone's got the arsehole about it so much diverse. Do you know how comics say to me, white comics, I go, oh, it's alright for you, Michelle. I've got to work twice as hard in comedy right now. Cause I'm a white male. I'm like, you ain't got to work twice as hard, bitch. You got to work just as hard. <laughs> Get in. The fucking water's lovely. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what you could do, Colin? If you've got a problem with diversity and comedy, any other fucking job, mate. All right? <laughs> any other fucking job. <laughs> so no, I don't hate diversity. Oh, there's so much of it. I can barely move for the diversity. <laughs> your mum's. Who ever put in the, that? In the, you fuck your mum. <laughs> I know you're out there. Your mum. Sorry, it actually said uh, diversity brackets the dance troupe. <laughs> Sorry. vacation and lose their child. <laughs> I mean, you can conquer the world, but you don't know where your kids are? You know what? Kids in fucking America, they get lost all the time. You can lose one. It's not that big a deal. <laughs> one white girl. I know that's like six black people, but still. <laughs> I like 30 Indians. Don't worry. I'm not <laughs> I know the math. Maths. 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 No. Fucking idiots. <laughs> Why you hate the fact that all your friends are getting married? Because <laughs> I'm not invited to any of the weddings. <laughs> and they're all having destination weddings. One of them was in Switzerland, the other one was in Hawaii. I got invited to a Mormon wedding, that's the only one I went to, and it was fucking trash. They didn't have a bar, and then the ceremony, because they're Mormons, and uh, they just fucking made you worship. Jesus. And uh, the whole thing that they did was they had to mix sands. So that was their big, like, oh, party. We're going to take some sand from the groom and then some sand from the bride and we're going to mix it. And I was like, can we mix some gin and some tonic? And then. 
together. <laughs> also, I'm single. My girlfriend and I just broke up. She told me she wanted to have kids when she's older and when she's with someone else. <laughs> Tell us, Omid, why you hate small talk. Because it doesn't go anywhere. You know, small talk, what do you say? Oh, how was your day? No, don't ask me about my day. Ask me about my life. Ask me if you want to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's the small talk I'm looking for. Hey, you trying to fuck? <laughs> That's some small talk, if you know what I'm <laughs> Why you yeah. hate silent disco? I'm not like a big I'm not like a big fan of like mass shooting this and shit like that. I'm, <laughs> I'm not, but like for the silent disco people. <laughs> just I don't know if you guys have done silent disco, either, but just for the, the that group of people, just kinda just somebody starts shooting from the back and then keep kinda going in the front. <laughs> I'd like to see that happen. <laughs> Tell us, Reddy, why you hate the Paralympics. Paralympics. Because oh. oh. you can't ever find parking. <laughs> <laughs> and, and also, because they're not really good at sport, I don't know why we're making them compete. <laughs> Isn't that the whole point? They're not good at it? Isn't that the disability? No, I'm not good at sport. I can do other shit. Why don't we help them do other shit? <laughs> it's like, I don't, I, I don't see where the balance is there. Like, oh yeah, with the Love Island people, they're dumb, but they should be able to try and build a rocket to go to outer space too. <laughs> Why don't we, the NASA people get to build a rocket? The Love Island people, they should have a chance to try and build a rocket. They're dumb, but no, we need to give them a chance. Watch them build a rocket and go to the Mars. <laughs> they're dumb, that's fine. There's nothing wrong in being from Love Island and dumb. But just don't take up government money to build a rocket. <laughs> Or play basketball. <laughs> Tell us, Radu, why you hate They can't even like balance the ball and everything. They just keep the basketball on the on the wheel. Uh, 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 yeah. See, see, that's not basketball anymore. Like disabled basketball and disabled rugby looks very similar. <laughs> Tell us, Grady, why you hate wow. immigrants. <laughs> yeah, they kind of tend to, to take away, attention away from me. Whenever there's an immigrant in the room, I find him annoying. <laughs> I don't like Omid because he says he's an immigrant, but he's like an American. That doesn't count. That's called an expat. <laughs> it's different. And it, people throw around the world immigrant. No, you're just an immigrant if you're like... From a shitty country. <laughs> Not an expat. An expat, American, German, I get to be an expat too, but just if I travel to Albania. <laughs> Tell us, Radu, why you hate trying to track ovulation. Trying to track ovulation, yes. I hate doing that because generally I kind of like having sex for just the joy of having sex. Uh, I don't, if I start trying to track ovulation to just know if I shouldn't come inside the person, <laughs> I start second guessing my mask during sex and I start kind of just counting days while fucking and that kind of detracts for me enjoying the fucking. <laughs> I don't know what really tracking ovulation is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a million points for all of you. Fantastic. In this round, ladies and gentlemen, any of the comedians can hate on the following topics. You can all jump up, hate on whatever you want. So, without further ado, tell us, comedians, why you hate feminists. I'm going to say this. I really don't like feminists and sexists. 
and because I don't like labels. I don't think it's cool to label people. I think people are, are fluid. I think I'm fluid. I don't know if I'm a sexist or like a feminist. I think I'm fluid. I don't really enjoy people labeling me. It depends on the day, depends on the thing. I do watch like a lot of movies of guys coming from girls' faces. I also listen to a lot of Katy Perry. <laughs> Some of the stuff they complain about as well. And this, this woman complained that like Dustin Hoffman asked her for a blowjob 20 years ago and she it made her feel uncomfortable and stuff. And you know, it's terrible she felt uncomfortable, but that's how we get blowjobs. <laughs> like, you've got to be proactive about it. You've got to get out there and start asking some of those tough, tough questions. You can't just sit at home in your couch waiting for a face to fall on your lip. <laughs> Some people can, but you, my friend, you fucking got a bit too active, mate. Seriously. How, how dare you call that a job, ladies? Huh? <laughs> I'm not accepting any more blowjobs, only blow volunteers, <laughs> blow internships. <laughs> Tell us, comedians, why you hate Instagram. I fucking hate Instagram. Listen, I try, I'm, I'm trying to be a good person, but I've got about two scrolls before I go from, oh, well done, to I fucking hate you all and why have I wasted my life. Now, Instagram is this fucking whole, fucking, it's just like, the net is wide and it's just these kids that just, you go on there and you're just like, what the fuck have I done with my life? You know what I mean? At 20 years old, you're like, in Ibiza and you've like bought your own plane or whatever and I'm like at 20 years old I was getting fingered by boys that smelt of Lynx Africa like, like, <laughs> and that's why I hate Instagram you okay? Yeah, Instagram is turning people into wankers like uh, one of my mates, he does this thing called Tough Mudder. Do you know what Tough Mudder is? Yeah. Just an army obstacle course thing. Like basically personal trainers guide you over walls and through hoops. Sort of like a dog show for project managers. <laughs> <laughs> This thing, so he's got all the profile pictures on Instagram. He's all like, oh yeah, yeah, I had to, I had to crawl through mud. I had to crawl through mud under barbed wire. I got barbed wire. <laughs> it's not dangerous. If it was dangerous, they wouldn't let you do it. You fucking accountant. <laughs> oh, you're not in the SAS. They haven't parachuted you behind Syrian lines to do this. You, you're doing it in Kilford. <laughs> School car park. Like, get a grip. <laughs> I don't like it because it's owned by Facebook, that's the thing I don't like about it. I'm not really on either of them, but also if you want to follow me, I really am there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hate Instagram because, you know, not to brag, I have like 3,000 followers, thank you. <laughs> but I only get like, I average like 60 likes per photo. Where are those other fucking people? <laughs> No, I hate it. One of my friends on Instagram, she's just found out she's pregnant, so she's posting pictures of her baby bump. She's all like, check out my baby bump, I'm 12 weeks pregnant. But it's like, you're 12 weeks pregnant? That baby's the size of a grape. Like, you don't have a baby bump, you just always looked a bit pregnant. <laughs> Nothing's changed because you pissed on a stick. <laughs> what, your thigh's pregnant as well? <laughs> Tell us why you hate. Brexit. It's pretty much like you broke up with Europe, but you're like, oh, the lease isn't over on this apartment for another six months. We're just gonna hang out here and make it awkward. No, Europe, you can't bring Africa over right now to fuck. I hate Brexit because I just think it really shows what us British people are about. We were like, we don't want any immigrants in, and then we went, an avocado is gonna cost how much? <laughs> no, I fucking changed my mind. No Brexit. No Brexit. <laughs> Okay, so basically, as an immigrant, this is what I think I, I hate about Brexit. I don't really care how anybody voted, people think I do. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> the only thing that annoys me is how the whole country kind of assumed that immigrants like it here. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, we really don't. 
I, I wanted to go to America, that was my thing. I, I couldn't get a visa. Nobody ever heard, honestly, of like the British dream. That's how I ended up here, I settled for the UK. Most people settled for the UK. So I understand that. Americans make great movies, we learn English, but it's hard to go there, so we end up being in this shit <laughs> I voted to remain in Europe, not for political reasons, I just voted to remain because my mum's moved to Spain and I want her to stay there. <laughs> I don't think it brought out the best of the British people either. Like, they interviewed people for this documentary the other night, interviewed Leave voters, and like one of them was like, I voted Leave, I voted Leave, but I didn't really want to leave Europe. So there's two options on that form, how did you fuck that up? <laughs> I interviewed another guy who's just like, I voted leave to get the Muslims out. Like he's in for a shock when he finds out that Muslims don't come from Luxembourg. <laughs> just have a third option to say that I don't understand the question. <laughs> a little bit racist, you know what I mean? Same as some ass, I'll save us two years. Two years of the most boring news I've ever seen in my fucking life. Remember when the news was exciting, you'd turn on and be like tsunamis and plane crashes and stuff. You'd get a beer and you'd be like, fucking hell, this is mental. <laughs> you'd turn on and these people in suits be like, parliamentary concession, Brussels negotiations. <laughs> I don't fucking care. Just get it done, you know what I mean? Just want to turn on the news, see like, you know, somebody staggered on fire out of a plane crash. Just like a big wave chasing down some Japanese people. <laughs> too much to ask. <laughs> too soon. <laughs> too soon. Actually, too soon is the name of a guy who was caught by that wave. <laughs> To the final round, it's the hate off. We just gotta choose our two favourite comedians to go head to head in the final round. If your favourite comedian tonight was Leo Kurtz, give me a cheer now! <laughs> if your favourite comedian tonight was Michelle Deswalk, give me a cheer now! <laughs> if your favourite comedian tonight was Omid, give me a cheer now! <laughs> Think about what you've done on me. If your favourite comedian tonight was Radu, give me a cheer now! Yeah! Radu and Leo in the final. Give it up for Omi, ladies and gentlemen! Yeah! Uh, congratulations, Michelle. Now they're going to see you. No, you got a fucking racist. I can see what's happening up here. Michelle, yeah! Final, final round. One of you are going to hate on this topic. One of you are going to love this topic. Leo, curse if you will to the mic. Tell us, Leo, why you hate Attractive children. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to pretend. Um, uh, be attractive children. Cause man, I saw that news report about Madeline McCann, and I was like, man, this pedo's got a point. I don't have any choice. The guys hate attractive children. Why don't you tell us why you love attractive oh, children? they're the best. Attractive children, yeah, fucking I like spending time with them. <laughs> if they're attractive and a, if, if they're ugly and a kid, then I just I kind of despise them. Because the kids have, you know, that joy, that joie de vie, that uh, the the thing, the happiness the kids have, and they're ugly and you have to pretend like their life isn't gonna be shit. <laughs> ugly children with that happiness just make me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know, I, I think they need to know that no, nobody's gonna fuck you, nobody's gonna like you. Life is gonna be very, very hard. It's gonna be harder for you to get a job because of that face. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We just have to choose our final winner tonight. If your favorite tonight was Leo Kurz, give me a cheer now. Woo!